Today I'll be talking about the steelcase leap and the steelcase gesture. Which one is better for you? Both of these chairs are some of the most recommended office chairs on the market. They have found themselves at the top of tier list of BTOT behind the office door, as well as reviewer David Zhang's tier list for top office chairs. They are incredible, adjustable, and tremendously comfortable office chairs that will uplift your work from home experience to no end, helping you to get comfortable, get productive, and get to work with minimal pain. That's it though, they are pretty expensive, clocking in at about a thousand US dollars or about four thousand ringgit in Malaysia. And you know, those of you with Asian parents, wah, you better not tell them how much it costs because otherwise they'll later be like, Aya, a boy, ah, why you go and buy expensive chair? Ah? Just buy IKEA chair, can already like tell you, ah, once upon a time, ah, wah, we used to sit ah, in a small chair, <laughs> chair ah, tell you, ah, we sit on the floor. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, anyway, that's enough of that. But then again, if you are here, you probably know their value. They're adjustable, built to last longer, and both of them are highly respected chairs from one of the best manufacturers on the entire planet. But the question is, which one of these chairs is worth your money? Hi, I'm Victor Tan, and these are my impressions of the Steelcase Leap and the Gesture. So, quick disclaimer, while I own the Leap and I already bought it for my mom, but I don't own a Gesture myself. So, that being said, I went over to test out both the Leap and Gesture in the same space at ELY Zen Pro. Okay, so let's start with the adjustable features of both chairs. Adjusting the seat pan depth is pretty important for me, and on a gesture that's really really easy to do. You can literally sit down and you can just adjust this knob front and back right here and the seat pan will move. This allows you to adjust for a range of different femoral lengths and heights. So if you don't have the chance to try out the chair, then just know that the fact that you can actually adjust it to this degree means that it should be able to fit you no matter who you are. Anyway, adjusting the seat height works really well like any other chair that you can test. Now the thing is that the backrest it doesn't lock into a recline position but you can limit how far back it is going to recline and also adjust the tension of the recline for a softer or stiffer movement. This gesture right here has an adjustable lumbar support which is pretty incredible although it's maybe not as adjustable as the one on the leap which I'll talk about later. Next let's talk about armrests. The armrests on the gesture are incredible. They are arguably the standout feature of the chair itself. Both both these arms are independently adjustable, they can twist in, out, forward and back and they feel great to touch. This means that they're incredible whether you're using them or you're pushing them out of the way and they are incredibly comfortable overall. Last but not least, I want to talk about the headrest on the gesture. It's an extra accessory but I really enjoy it because it's very comfortable. It is height adjustable and it also can be tilted up and down and you can even turn it upside down to the back of the chair in case you don't actually need a headrest and don't need that thing pushing against you, which is really, really nice. Okay, next, let's move over to the leap. So the leap works a little differently from the gesture. It does have the same basic features like height adjustment. It does also have an adjustable seat depth that requires a little more effort to adjust than the gesture. Unlike the gesture though, you can actually dial in both the upper back tension and the lower back tension. These can be independently adjusted from one another. The chair does also include an adjustable lumbar support so you can really push the lumbar support to the exact spot that you need based on the curve of your back. Though some people do say it's a little aggressive. The lumbar support can actually be adjusted diagonally although I personally haven't seen a use for that. The arms on the leap you can move them up, down, in, out, forward, and back, which are good for sure, but the gesture is definitely a lot more flexible with the arms and is a little bit more of an enjoyable experience. You can also get the leap with a headrest, but the thing is that the headrest is only height adjustable. It doesn't tilt like it does on the gesture and it does push against your hip quite a fair bit if you're trying to sit upright and to lean your head back. So now, let's move into seat comfort. Both these chairs are incredibly comfortable. The cushion padding is very soft and enjoyable to sit on. The leap though is just a little bit softer and since it does have a rounder cushion design for the seat, it's a bit more comfortable if you're going to cross your legs on the seat while on the gesture, it's not so comfortable 
and it's also a little easier for your legs to just fall off. Both of these chairs include a 3D life back system and they support your back really comfortably. But on the leap, you do have the ability to adjust the upper back tension and also the lower back tension and it makes it just a little more customizable overall. Also, cool thing about the leap, when you recline the back on the leap, the seat pan does move forward which I find a lot more comfortable since it does keep the lumbar support on the same spot on your back. But if you compare this to the gesture, the seat doesn't actually move. So the lumbar support, it does slide up your back and it does require you to reposition yourself a little bit. So overall, I do feel that the motion on the lead is a lot smoother. That's it, this is not a deal breaker. With both chairs, you can definitely feel well supported and sit for long periods of time while focusing on your work. For hit rest comfort, I have to give this to the gesture. The hit rest is much superior compared to the hit rest on the leap, and I think that the leap would be the perfect chair if not for the fact that the hit rest would constantly push your neck forward. That extra adjustability is incredible, and the fact that you can actually just flip it upside down whenever you're not using it, it makes it awesome. So the Leap's headrest, on the other hand, it's really great if you're in a situation where you're reclining and using it, but if you're sitting with the headrest pushing against your head, not such a great idea. Last but not least, I do want to talk about aesthetics. It's said that you should never judge a book by its cover, and with chairs, I think that's also true. If you sit in a chair, you're not going to be looking at it all the time, but... Just for those times when you come in and you want to look at your office, from an aesthetic standpoint, the gesture is going to be the more Instagrammable chair. It's going to look a little bit more sharp because it has a cleaner design with straight lines, neat color options, and just overall, it's no contest that based on looks, I definitely choose the gesture, though the leap does still look good. So overall, which chair is going to be better for you? Based on my experiences with both of these chairs, if you want a chair with a great headrest and incredible arms, then I would definitely go with a gesture instead of the leap. But when it comes to overall back support quality, I do prefer the leap a little bit more because it's more comfortable overall and it's a lot more adjustable because you can change both the upper back and lower back tension and the lumbar support also is something that you can dial in straight away. Both of them do have their own advantages and some of the best warranties and build qualities on the planet. So honestly, whichever one of these you get, you cannot go wrong. They're both solid long-term investments and you probably won't have to end up replacing them with any cheap office chairs over time. Thanks again to ELY Zen Pro for letting me test out these chairs and for those of you who are from Malaysia, I do have a small discount if you're still on the fence. Check the description for links. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. You guys know what to do and I will see you in the next video.